Hello, welcome to another video in this series where we're building off-brand LEGO Speed Champions cars that we bought from AliExpress. Uh, so today I'm joined by Willow again. Uh, this time Hello. Willow is going to build uh, this car that she chose from uh, what, what we bought from AliExpress. So it's clearly modelled on a Lamborghini by the looks of it. Um, now the interesting thing is this car and a bunch of the other cars that we've got are also branded as racing series or that is the, the series of vehicles um, but they do have an actual brand listed in the corner which is this Quan Yan or something um, so the, this, this is the first set that we've built that is actually seems to be branded I don't know if it's the same racing series as the other two cars, the first ones that we built, because they're just called racing, but it does have some Chinese text, but it's different text, so uh, I really don't know. Um, these do seem to be higher quality, I would think, than uh, the other ones, very slightly higher quality perhaps. The, the, the design of the model anyway looks better. Um, the interesting thing is this one came with two minifigures so, if you, so we got a little man again and a lady this time. Uh, the lady is dressed in a bikini for some reason um, and, we, and she has a removable gold skirt, uh, green hair and she also did come with a helmet though luckily. So she has a helmet, so does the man. Uh, the, the thing I found really interesting with these minifigures, they are slightly different from Lego minifigures. They're more like uh, the Mega Block minifigures that you can get. And the arm was a two-piece construction, so there was a socket piece and then the arm connected to the socket piece. So as well as being able to go up and down, the arms can actually come out sideways. You can actually put the arms out sideways. Um, which you can't do with Lego people, so that's quite interesting. So, uh, again, like with the last few cars that we built, I've already pre-arranged the pieces out, so we've sorted out the pieces uh, based on number of instruction. So, Willow's gonna try and build this one. I will apply some of the stickers, so there aren't that many stickers on this model compared to the previous ones. Um, so, we'll just get going with step one. You can say hello if you want. I already have. Alright. Cool. Ready? Doesn't have to be in Oh, that's for next. So this particular model. Uh, it's clearly a Lamborghini and is again all the models that we're building in the series are the eight brick wide format that we found so because Lego haven't officially released any this year uh, we found all these on AliExpress and they're they're not actually based on Lego models they're totally unique original designs using that same eight brick wide format so so we decided that we'd buy some of these. Obviously last year Lego did release a 8 brick wide uh, Lamborghini model so this will be our baseline for this model. We'll be comparing it to this for quality um, and I do think just based on the picture that this this model is is very nice, has a lot of nice detail on it. Logan? Um, so for comparison we built this one uh, a couple of videos back. Uh, not really sure it was based on any particular make or model, it's more like a, a McLaren type track car. Uh, but this this again will be a we'll be able to compare it against that. And then the closest I could find actually in the older Lego Speed Champions, the old six brick wides that we had was uh, this. Um, again this is a McLaren P1 or something like that I think so it's kind of similar styling to the car that we'll be building today it's a very sleek uh, low 
a green sports car. You need a sticker on this, do you? Sticker number one. It's all nice and tight here. Yeah. So then one, two, step three. So I'd start with these two tiny pieces. I found it quite interesting how they they attach to the build. They stick in the holes in there. Now it does seem as well, out of the 13 cars that we ordered from AliExpress, I think um, maybe five or six of them have this same style manual and the same branding on them. So it'll be interesting to see what the quality of this one is like, because we would expect the others to all be roughly equivalent. Uh, I purposefully, when I ordered them from AliExpress, I didn't choose any of the models that looked substandard, that didn't even look Lego quality. All the ones I ordered, I thought they would look good next to our Lego models so there were a lot more available there's like literally 40 or 50 different models of car that you can buy in this same 8 wide uh, format of the 2020 Lego models uh, there, there are hundreds available uh, custom models in the old 6 brick wide format as well if you prefer these types you can find hundreds of them on Al AliExpress uh, all custom designs as well things that you wouldn't get from Lego there are there are some others that I've been um, potentially thinking of getting as well they're, they're like based on much older designs of cars so like the Model T and things like that uh, and Rolls-Royce from the 1930s and things those those would be quite interesting and I think I might get some of those once we've built all the models that we've currently got So the instructions in here do seem very similar to what we had previously. Just a, an overall different colour in the background colours, the colours of the uh, information boxes. The, these ones had arrows, whereas this one has an arrow which touches the stud to show you exactly which stud it's going into. So I, I don't actually think it is the same brand. Um, I forgot to mention as well, this model is marked as model 100140. I have no idea how many this brand makes, this company makes. Um, it would be interesting that I should make a, a spreadsheet of some of these model numbers. Try and figure out which ones actually come from the same series and which don't. Do they need to stick together or not? Um, no. Oh. So again, with um, with pretty much all of these cars, to be honest, they, they build them really solidly on the bottom layers. So there's a lot of bricks going to the bottom of it. And it takes quite a while just to start layering up, but once you have something resembling a car, the last layers are just the de detail and that goes on pretty quickly then.
One thing I would say about pieces in this set as well is that the the colour of green on the pieces itself is uh, very bright and vivid, very much like what you actually saw on the picture. So, uh, so compared to this model on here, uh, the red on this particular model wasn't very vivid, it was quite a dull red. Um, so the, the colours are definitely more like the like the picture that you'd expect it to see. Is that not going on? Yeah. That does feel like it's a very tight ring. It's just, I did notice that I had two more of these and I wasn't quite sure why. Are these different? I just need to put them on the back. Yeah, I know. Okay. Right, so we've got two on there. Are these? They're, they're all the same. It's that one, isn't it? It's, it's quite a tight fit. Trying to get that into that hole there. Let's try a different one. That one, that one fit in really nicely. Okay. It, it was, it was very tight to get that in. So if we take these top pieces off these ones, if we can get them out. Almost makes you wonder because I'm pretty sure those were just spares. I don't think they're used in the model, so it almost makes you wonder that they knew those pieces were very tight and potentially the tolerance wasn't perfect on them, so they they gave you some extra ones to make sure that you got four that fit into that gap. Now one thing that is very similar to the older models that we've had as well is uh, there's a lot of black in the base layer. So one thing Lego tend to do is if it's going to get hidden away by the detail on the top, they'll throw in some red and blue and yellow in there and it actually helps you distinguish where the pieces are going because you can see on the instructions, ah, it goes next to the yellow bit. Whereas here, because it's just pure black and you're putting black on top of black, you can often like misplace a piece by one brick. So do you know what that is? Uh, yeah. So it's got like a a pretend uh, V8 engine inside it. So you angle these pieces, and you when all the detail is on the top, you can see inside and see that V8 in there. What the hell is that little?
don't think this piece is about to get wrong. Okay, I'm going to go back. You got it? So they're going to point downwards. I don't know if this one. Now this one doesn't have the uh, wing mirrors. <coughs> I thought this might be where the wing mirror is attached, but I think it's for some side panel detail. There's a lot of small curves on the outside of this particular car as well. And so a lot of like minor detail. I can't remember if this one was quite as fiddly to put together at the base as these ones are. I mean, we just built the, the Ferrari again the other day, and it, it did take a while. Um, but the detail is kind of different. Um, so the, the bottom of the usual Lego Speed Champions has a has an eight brick wide, uh, no, it's a six brick wide uh, piece that you put the axles onto. Whereas most of these models just have a have a piece with a hole in the middle that the axle goes into. So it's kind of built into the car rather than having the axles uh, the axle holders attached. What? Yeah. He's on the whole line, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of pieces in this one. The small bits. Pitch Lapper. nine. I'll tell you what, I'll build this while you're doing doing that because this is a separate piece that's just gonna go on the front.
So like I've said on uh, previous videos as well, the, the overall quality of these pieces is just as good as like the, like this doesn't feel like the cheap uh, off-brand Lego that we're used to in, in Britain, like Mega Blocks and things like that. Although the stuff that you buy in the supermarket that isn't Lego, this actually feels pretty good. all that. Yeah. Cool. But no one helped me. Well done. Good job, man. I think uh, the first couple of stickers that we've put on here anyway, have a slightly larger gap than what the previous ones have. The previous ones have been very tight to the shape of the surface, whereas this one, uh, just this little light detail that's going on the front, is a little bit more Lego-like. Like if I give it about a millimetre of gap at the top, it still has a tiny bit of a gap at the bottom. weirdest looking lights I've ever seen in a car. Looks tense. Yeah. So they've actually used what look like ghost hands to fill in the lights here. I was saying to Will, I don't know if these are like glow in the dark or something, but they, it's a strange, I don't, I've never seen a car with weird little stick lights at the front like this. Like 
Maybe it's actually, no, the wheels are going to be in the same place, it's a bit longer at the front, it's on the front of the wheel. Right, next part. Yep. So you need sticker number eight, and you're going to go on this piece. But that's because the piece has a little overlap, so it wraps over the edge of that piece there. I don't know if that's quite correct, but it seems to fit okay. So that's going to go right in front of the steering wheel. Then the black pieces go next to that, the three and the one. <laughs> Two green bits Two of those, right? Yeah, that's all I want. Yeah. I was about to place the wheel for that, even looking at the instructions. <laughs> should have been then, or I think it was actually Lauren might have been building one. And then the whole car would look too long and I so we came to put the last piece on it's like well, let's work for it together. I wonder if I did that I actually put them in the right place. Yeah. Piece is going to go in the middle, across the middle piece. Um. What did those guys fall off? I'm 
that it looks like it's just big one. Yeah. That's slightly bigger than, okay. than the small one. That's what you get for dancing. <laughs> Good day. So some of the other models that we built actually do that as well. I had to do that with my big Lego friends thingy. Oh, so you had to do it with your Lego friends as well? Because most of the Lego that I've done, uh, that I've built before, you don't, you don't have stickers that go over multiple pieces. But if you do get it on some, then I suppose it's alright. It's, it's more like what Lego do. just means that it's more difficult if you ever want to actually break it up and rebuild it. You can't uh, break up those pieces that have stickers stuck over the top of them. Why don't you take the pieces off and then pull so the sticker underneath it and then, and then if you do that you peel the sticker on the bottom and then put them both together. You put those pieces on. Okay. Now this is interesting, there's like this tiny little Round piece. That is actually to simulate a stud. So that is going to go into the bottom of this piece here and then I can stick that in the bottom of this that we just made. So it's sticking upside down but you're using that tiny little piece to connect to upside down pieces. I've never seen that before. And this set came with about 15 of those as well.
the hood of the front of the car. Or the back. Back door. Alright. So these pieces. I also need this. Scraped it off. No. That piece is Even And then you need a sticker number nine. Now these, these sets, they obviously aren't allowed to use actual brands. I'm not, I'm not even sure who would come after them if they did. If it actually had the Lamborghini logo. Yes. Uh, but that is, from a distance, that's a Lamborghini logo. So, um, it's clearly not. I can't even read what it's supposed to say on it. It's the same colour and shape, but just the detailing inside the logo is different. Start with these black pieces that are in the corner of the other two as well. And that one. That gives you a good base to build it on top of that. So you can put your big flat piece on. And then your other two attach onto that. That's what's going on, that's what's going on. It doesn't close out, it goes one way, but... Sure that's all nice and tight and then it pops onto that. Tight? Yes? No. It's gonna fall apart. It doesn't look tight actually, I can see that piece. Though. That's it. Does that move at all? Does it go down? Push it with this bit here. No, it doesn't go down, though, does it? I think it's supposed to. Maybe a tiny bit. It's just supposed to be flat, isn't it? I think it is. I 
it's supposed to be angled down very slightly. Just to give you that sports car look at the front. Yeah, that came from the last set that we built. Okay. Yeah, it did. It did go down a tiny bit, so it sits on top of the light. So okay. Just very slightly, it's just angled downwards is the front of the car instead of it being flat. So the front is looking. Finished and pretty cool. I'm not quite sure about those lights, they look a bit strange. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I just went like that and I felt something. Come on then, because we <laughs> don't think there's that much left to do now. going on time. Yes, it's these things again. My son survives. Will it change to be on uh, SMG woman? It is, it is. These particular pieces. So these, uh, these little angled things where, where you can turn them 90 degrees, they they don't seem to be the correct size. So they, they are like just a fraction of a millimetre too long. Let's just see, are they... So when you're trying to put two of them side by side mm. in this little space here you, it's actually very difficult to squeeze them in can we let's try taking this piece off we'll take the green piece off that's next to it then see if we can squeeze it in, and then see if we can squeeze the green piece on after. I just, I don't think that one's going to go on. I wonder if it's the studs underneath it actually. This one looks like it might do. So if I take the top off this one. Down there. It's going to be a silver one, but I don't actually think you're going to see. No. I think it is actually the piece underneath it. It doesn't. There's no way that this could actually fit on there. The edge pieces are far too large. I think. Let's see. 
maybe if we try and put both pieces on what are you doing and then force it down <laughs> one of them went on Just the gap between that piece and the stud. There, there isn't enough gap there to fit a piece in. Let's take the other side. Right, so this is potentially not a great review for this car because they actually gave us uh, spare pieces of this exact type of brick, probably knowing that there were issues with it. And it just doesn't fit. Actually, the left side on this brick thinner than the right side. It, do, it definitely doesn't like click on this brick, it just squeezes on because it's just too large for I don't want to try and force it on, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Let me see if I can get something to force this piece on. That's got the one piece in, but the other piece will go in. That's done it, but um, that is not great. So these two, these two side by side pieces right there, uh, you can see just underneath the pieces they're not flush. It's because they just don't fit into that space. It would be interesting to see because we do have plenty of Lego. If two. Uh, proper Lego pieces of that would fit in there. But uh, yeah. So uh, let's put this back together. So, so I literally had to resort to uh, getting a screwdriver and a hammer just to hammer those pieces into place there and they're, they're not they're not flat but i don't think they're going to pop out because they are in really tight so 
I was actually going to ask you what you get a hammer. You get a hammer for the engine. <laughs> and talk a bit louder, Willow, because I don't even think it's going to pick you up on the video. Oh, and the okay! The front's falling off now. Oh. Right. There we go. <coughs> on to the next step. <laughs> oh no, you're still on this one. <laughs> So this is going to go I can't see where I am. It's in the back here. Hello, Pete. Not there, will I? It's <laughs> Some of these pieces are too fiddly. Detail for the back of the car, I think, and that's about it. Breath. 
How pointless was that? So those two bits that were really hard to fit in, they don't, they don't even need to be rotating. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to tilt them forward a tiny bit. Jesus. Yeah, so, so these bits are just supposed to attach to there. So that's the only reason you had those two rotating pieces. And because it was such a tight fit, uh, it's not going to rotate downwards enough to get it flat. So this one is on this side. Oh, I see what you mean. That's not There's definitely some like tolerance issues with this model. It's not it's not as tight as it should be. This side's good. It's just the other side. I definitely think we'll see if we can replace those two pieces with actual Lego later. So on that side of the car, you've got this long angled piece. It just angles down very slightly because it's touching the top of those black pieces. Uh, but this side, there's a clear gap. It can't actually angle down far enough. Right, shush. I don't think... You can't move that out of the way either. There is... Basket. It won't go down far enough. Oh, hang on. With a bit of a click there. Right, that, that has done it actually. That's better. It's, it's, not, it's not perfect. There we go. Right, so you do. Part 31, I'll do part 30. Let's 
do you do? This one. I do what one? The one on the right. Careful, Logan. You got your big green bit. Oh, it's not the green bit. The black bit. It's the brown. You don't have one of those things what? on the other side. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna build that next. Yeah. Anyway, there'll be another one. Okay. Right. So have you done that one? So where do these these attach to the back? Choose which rims you want, and then you can put them on the wheels. I'm about to say they all look the same. <laughs> So they, so a couple of these models have come with uh, the rims on a little sheet like this. So there were four in one style and four in another style. So you'd normally get two sets of rims with, with every LEGO Speed Champions model. Um, so th this is no different, even though it's not LEGO. And now these wheels look pretty good. As well, they look better quality than the ones on the uh, the last couple of models that we built. It's falling apart now. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, but this view is the whole back photo. Because it's affected every single origin story. And we're done? Yay. Does it roll okay? Oh, the wheels are stuck. <laughs> The front. This front wheel is totally. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Oh, both of these front wheels are jammed. Jesus! Look, look. We've got to break the lady <laughs> apart now. <laughs> Jesus! What is yeah. wrong with that? That feels wrong. Yeah. The back wheels are spinning <laughs> really freely. Uh, but the front wheels have jammed into place. Oh my god. So. It, it knows what thingies are used. The back wheels. It knows what thingies are used. Yeah. I used these ones. It does look. Oh, uh, look at the instructions. Hang on. Oh, yeah, you know what's happened. What? Look. Oh no. It might, it might be okay actually. My might, might have got away with it. I didn't realise that the wheel arches were different. So there are wheel arches with high arches. And that one's only got two creepy bits, that one's got two in there, it's got four. Oh, so did they actually look different on top as well? Yeah. Yeah, so, so we've definitely got the right wheel arches. It's just the the uh, the rear wheel arch has more clearance space than the front wheel arch. You can just see it's not as large, but the axle pieces are on the exact same layer. So, unless the wheels are different sizes, but they're all, they're all the exact same size. Uh, so, it's buggered. The, the rear wheels are fine, they're spinning freely. <laughs> but the front wheels are, are just hitting that rim. They, they can't possibly spin. You've got me wondering now if we've built it right. It, how, it can't be wrong though. I mean, the model looks pretty good. Hairy bestie. It doesn't look quite as good as I thought it was going to look, actually. I think it almost looks sleeker on the picture, <laughs> even though it's identical to what I'm holding in my hands. So, so the model is pretty cool. It's all very uh, sharp and edgy. Uh, the front of it looks pretty cool, like a sleek Lamborghini. Um, it's got quite a big cockpit area where the two people can sit inside there. So as usual, you can put the two people inside every single one of these models. Uh, it's just that it's just the fact that the Yes. I'll do your settings in a second. You can't actually get to that engine either. I thought you would be able to see the engine out of the back, but it's totally, totally covered up. There's no way you're going to get to it. Useless engine. Yeah. It, these front lights have popped out of place as well. So even though at, at first uh, first impressions were that this is a higher quality car based on the design, really, uh, I actually don't think it's as good as the first few that we built. It, the, there are bits on here that are popping apart. Uh, it feels like we built it wrong, but I can't think how that would be possible. It's like the whole front of the car is one brick off somehow. So 
so I think we will leave it there. I mean, it, it looks identical to the picture. So the picture shows the wheel arch almost touching the wheel as well. But it, it is not almost touching it, it is right against it. Ah, hang on. No, I see what we've done. It was me. When I put these things together, put these things together and these clip over the top of the wheel arch, these angled pieces are supposed to be uh, 180 degrees turned Maybe around. That's why the tip that way. Off. So <laughs> now uh, they will clip over the wheel arch and they're not going to touch the wheel. It's that that was touching the wheel. That's it. So do the same on the other side. <laughs> One of the few parts that I built on this model is totally wrong. So. <laughs> this, this one, why does this one still feel tight? I think the, the tire isn't. Turning it round. The tire fell a bit, a little bit lumpy then. Yeah, so it's it's not. It's, it's still this tire isn't quite on the rim. Like the tire's a little bit lumpy there. I'll tell you what, let's try swapping it for a rear because we know the rear has more clearance anyway. We'll swap that tire around. It, yeah, and it is spinning better. It is touching the rim, but it's not as bad. It does at least roll now. Are you being a pirate? Right, so that's it for that car. So it's, it's definitely not as good quality as some of the others that we've built, uh, but it still looks pretty good. So uh, next time I think it'll probably be another one in this series that we're going to be building. Um, so until next time, thank you for watching. You can say bye bye. bye.